the top reasons for not winning the lottery are because the odds are against you. The top reasons for divorce? Well, that's another story. And this is Dr. Paul, author of Boomer Girls, A Boomer Woman's Guide to Men and Dating, and host of Ask Dr. Paul. The top reasons for divorce. Somehow, I feel like one of the comedians who comes up with the top 10 reasons. <laughs> and we won't go there in a comic way because it's not funny. The number one is adultery. Number one is cheating. Okay? That's number one. We're not going to go through top 10, but child care is another one. They disagree on how to raise children, but that's way down the list. Finance is another one. Okay? That's probably number two in that top 10, if you will, and we're not going to go through 10, but number two is having a real financial difficulty with each other. One is a saver, one is a spendthrift, and it doesn't work, or you've gotten yourself so deeply into debt that you're arguing about it all the time. It's a bad, bad scenario. Number three, oddly enough, number three comes under the category of addiction, and it can be a, an addiction that may be minor. One person sees it as minor, the other sees it as major be it alcohol or drugs or gambling or smoking. The smoker, non-smoker is a recipe for divorce beyond belief. Another issue, one of the top issues in getting divorced is risk taking. Suddenly one person wants to go into business and is willing to take a big risk and mortgages the farm, the house, whatever, and the other one says, whoa, stop right now, I'm not a risk taker. Those things should have been probably exercised in terms of where we want to go together up front, but you are where you are. Those are just a few of the reasons. I'm certain there are many others. There may be different preferences sexually, and that's also a factor, and they all may be a part of the totality. Only you can answer that. This is Dr. Paul. May your fantasies of today be your realities of tomorrow.